electronic elements that make up a circuit are connected together by conductors to form a complete circuit. Active components and passive components make up the complete circuit. An active component is an electronic component which supplies energy to a circuit. Common examples of active components include voltage sources, current sources, generators, all the types of transistors and all the types of diodes. A passive component is an electronic component which can only receive energy which it can either dissipate, absorb or store it in an electric field or a magnetic field. Passive elements do not need any form of electrical power to operate. As the name passive suggests, passive devices do not provide gain or amplification. Active devices such as transistors are used as an amplifier. They, they can manipulate the signals. They can increase the strength of the signal. They can control the current. That is the main difference between active and passive elements. This concept is very simple to remember. Like we can see, here we have one battery, one resistor and one bulb. So we have to just check if the element is utilizing the energy or if it is giving out the energy. Battery is used to supply the voltage to the given circuit. That means it is an active device. A resistor who opposes the current, he dissipates the power in, in himself. So that's why resistor is a passive element. Bulb, he also consumes the energy and gives out the light. That means bulb is also an passive element. Similarly, we may have various elements which may consume the energy or give out the energy. In short, if any element is used to dissipate the energy or to store the energy is considered as a passive element. In this virtual digital classroom, you can see few elements. Now you all can identify which are the active elements and which are the passive elements and post it in the comments. Check out the concept of electrons and holes in the next part.